I gotta believe you're pleased with yourself. How did you feel out there? I felt okay. Uh, a little flat when I uh, in the beginning. I didn't get the the full warm up. It was kind of a surreal week. Like everything was kind of cerebral and just kind of you know slow. But you know that's just what we do. You know, ultimately I had to find it. I had to go out and, and do what I set out to do, which was you know dominate from start to finish and, and really you know let everyone know that I'm next in line for that shot. So when you say you didn't get the full warm up, are you saying like did you just do you get to do it your normal routine or you just didn't feel it? Yeah, yeah, just normal routine. It's kind of funky. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a habit of routine. I have a, a routine. I know approximately what time I want to get my hands right. Approximately what time I want to roll out. You know, time I want I want to start stretching. Then I start you know rolling a little bit and start wrestling and start throwing hands and hitting mitts and you know. I mean, it happens like this. In other organizations where there's not a time limit, I mean, thank God, even in the UFC, you know, there's just kind of a structure to where you know, okay, about this time is when you're going to fight. Uh, I just kind of didn't gauge it completely, right? And that was just on me, but, you know, it didn't matter. I still went out there and I did my job, which is dominant. Were you surprised with anything that happened in there? I mean, uh, RDA is a tough guy, obviously, man. He's been through it all. Uh, I mean, surprised with anything, how it played out? Absolutely. I was surprised with uh, how tough he was. I mean, that, that's, that's what a champion was. I mean, he, he's a, he was a true champion, a tough guy. Much, much respect for him. He was tough. I hit him with some big shots. I hit him with the shots, some shots that normally hurt him. And you could tell that since he put on that weight and, and went up to welterweight, he's definitely uh, – a little, it takes a, he can take a little bit more shots. Did you get a chance to talk to Danny yet? Yeah, I talked to him in the back a little bit, and you know, I, I'm just, um, I'm really uh, optimistic to see what's up next for me. Well, so. that's interesting you say, because he came and said, hey, that he was very impressed by you, and he's mentioned that you talked to him. <coughs> he thought tonight you did, and he said, man, I, I kind of would like to see him versus Tyron next, and, and I, and I pushed him. I said, well, we thought Colby was happening. Is that guaranteed? He said. Nothing's guaranteed. So I mean, do, do you do you have some inside info? You think maybe you can slip in and steal that shot away? I, I wish I had inside info, but it, it doesn't matter. I, I stayed the claim that I was next in line. So if if, if what, what's his name, Quefintin isn't isn't stepping up to to fight, which he hasn't stepped up before, and he, he he ducked it. So if he doesn't step up, I'm stepping up. Tyron knows I'm not going anywhere. I'm next in line. He knows I'm the real fight. I'm the threat to that throne. So it doesn't matter. You know, whatever Dana calls, I'll be right there ready to answer. They were targeting January for that fight. Could you be ready that soon if they said, hey, we still need it in January? Could you do that? <coughs> uh, I'll be ready next week if they need me. I'll just go in there and jump in the hot tub, ice whatever I need to ice, and I'll be ready next week. So it doesn't matter. They call, I'll be ready. What if they ever wanted you to be a backup again? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not going down. I mean, it's uh, each and every time we do something like this, and we, we go through a camp, that's what really takes life off of your, your career. That's what really, because the damage is not necessarily done in the fight, it's done through camp. All that rigorous training, putting your body through that and, and dieting and doing everything the right way. When that fight was announced in September, I believe, or, or August, whichever way that, that fight went 228, I was fully prepared to be the welterweight champion of the world. I put the camp in, I put the time in, and I was prepared and I was ready. Part, part of, you know, part of the best that I've ever really felt. I, I was, all week I was ready. That, that was, I felt like that was the stage, that was the time. In my hometown, Dallas, Texas, to go out there and do it in front of everyone. My high school coach was there, you know. I really felt like that was the time, but unfortunately it didn't happen, that wasn't the plan. So, it doesn't matter, you know, God has a plan. And all I have to do is be patient and my time will come. And when that time comes, when that opportunity knocks, I'm going to kick that fucking door down for sure. You kind of smiled about it after it happened. <coughs> he, he caught you at that up kick after it. I think you smiled about it after the round. But how bad did that How bad did that uh, sting you? That jolt you a little bit? It didn't really sting me. It's just kind of the reason I, I smile. And I know some guys smile or, and, and, or they react a certain way when they get hurt with a shot. For me, I smile because I'm kind of surprised that it touched me. Surprisingly enough, I don't get hit with a lot of shots because I, I take him in the room. So where I, I'm just, my vision is, is, is so good to where I, I see the shots, even though they, it seems like it hit me, nothing really hits me clean. 
And so when I get hit with a shot, I'm kind of surprised. It didn't necessarily hurt me. It was just like, oh, he fucking hit me with that shot. So, you know, it's also I kind of give him a little smile just to let him know, yeah, you did hit me, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. Didn't even kind of mention that he thought you're striking. They thought your timing. You looked a little bit better in the fifth round. Was that partly maybe due to, like you said, the, the warm up? It just felt a little bit off getting started. Did you feel bit stronger as the rounds went on? Absolutely. That that's just been the, my the story of my career, even through wrestling, and, and it got in that way through wrestling. It's just the way that I train, the way that I, I condition my body. All through, when I when I made the decision to want to be the best at whatever I was doing, whether it was wrestling or or, or this. It's funny when when you go in the, when we're training and I'm doing my strength and condition or what I'm lifting, I start when you start out you're, you're kind of cold initially, so I'm lifting. Let's say you're doing bench press, I start out 225, but then guess what? The weight goes up. I put more on. I put more on. I put more on. And the reason I do that is so I can condition my body to be stronger as I go on, and that that transcended through all my career. If you if you watched any of my matches, I got stronger as the the, the match <coughs> went on, while guys got weaker, and that's where I that built that mentality of really breaking a guy, really wanting to break them because I know people can't last with me as the rounds go on. How, how do you compare this performance to others? Do you feel like this is your best, or how did, how did this compare to your past fights? I I wouldn't say it's my best. I'd say it's up there because that's a former world champion. I mean that that guy's a tough tough dude. You know, came in the welterweight division, was just kind of running through guys, like made it look like he was back at lightweight. And so to go out there and really dominate him like that, it just kind of makes a statement that I'm next in line. But, you know, I would have liked to go in there and just breathe on him and have him, you know, fall asleep and then have my hand raised. So, you know, it, it's up there. It's one of my best. Could you see yourself fighting somebody else or is it Woodley, or do you feel this is Woodley has to be next? Fuck. Woodley, for, it, it's the welterweight strap. It doesn't matter. Whether it's Woodley or Queefington or whatever uh, the other guy's name is, it doesn't matter. You know, as long as it's for that belt, that's 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 what I'm I'm looking for. Did it feel good to get that uh, performance bonus? And you got any plans to how you're gonna spend it? Feels good. I'm actually uh, I'm trying to buy a house. I, I, my daughter's four now. I think it's about time for her to get her own space to be able to run up and down or stand over the balcony and scream, Daddy, I'm doing this or doing that. So, you know, it's about time for me to expand and, and, and buy her, give her the room that she needs.